Welcome to Black U TV, the TV series that not only brings you the facts and events, but reality stories from the youths on the streets. Please remember to like and subscribe. It's interviews coming from Tivoli Gardens Highway in Kingston, Jamaica. I'm interviewing a young man that was born in Jamaica, went to America from a child, spent over 15 years there, got deported, and not only back to square one in Jamaica, but surviving in an area that's plagued by gunshots, not only from gangsters, but police and also soldiers. What's your name? They call me Dugo. Dugo? Yeah. Where were you born, Dugo? Yeah, I was born, it's written Denham Town on the certificate. Tivoli Gardens. Yes, what was it like growing up in Tivoli Gardens? Well, you know, I returned to do most of the growing as a man. I left here as a child, you understand? So, as far as a man go, I'm gonna tell you, um, wow. This beautiful place, man. Wow, man. <laughs> what can you not say, man? You know what I mean? Can you not say, man? So, so how, old, how old did you leave Jamaica? I left Jamaica about six, turning seven years old. And how old are you now? Me, I'm 35 years old at present. Okay. You have any brothers and sisters at all? Yes, man. Love them too, you know. I have to love my sister first and foremost, you know, because she a gift, you know. Sister, I don't have to argue why they want to be little sister them, you know. But I tell her I say I love her still, you know what I say? Um, I have two sisters, blood and five brothers, blood, but you can't count hundreds of brothers and sisters. You don't know a good though. Yeah. yeah. So how, how old are they? All right. Me, I'm the eldest. You see me? And um, I have two younger sisters in their 20s, and my brothers, two brothers in their 20s. One just turned 20, another one about 19, and the next one, he's also in his 20s, about six, seven, how many brothers I got? Chris, Rick, Rick. Jeremy, OYG, Cross. Yeah, five brothers, excuse me. <laughs> you have a yeah, big man. family, man, you have to count it. Yeah, man, come before I have children, my mother have children, you know? So it's like that. You have any children, Dugo? Yeah, you know, I was actually in a case in America where I was supposed to have a child and two, right here in Jamaica, presently. You know, I'm still working for a chick and a child, you know what I mean? I work hard, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you don't have a girlfriend and you're obviously not married or anything like that then? Yeah? I don't say that, man. They are, as a, as a returning resident, yeah, well, they call down to basics to get back to, you back to basics, you know, where they can find your art and see who you are. And then you get embraced to the, to the magic that happens around us, man. It's magic, man. That's why I realized that too, you see me I say? Because when you pay attention, if you have to pay attention when things happen to you, you have to pay attention. You see what I say? And it's like, you know, you see, you see things work out naturally. You see, you get a, you, you learn things if you pay attention. That's what I want to say. What kind of what kind of work do your parents do? What kind of occupation are they doing? All right, well, my mom's working some social work right now. My father's a businessman. You know how that go. And, um, you know, everybody's okay. Everybody's okay. Me, personally, what they're working on. They're trying to help me the best way they can. They ever try to keep us off the streets, you know, say, yo, you have everything you need. Try and get better and educate yourself to learn. You know what I mean, I say? And try to get on track. It's sad for me that, you know, I couldn't really fully extend that gratitude with them, you know, with my, my schoolwork. That's, that's the most frustrating part for me as a man. You know what I mean, I say? But, you know, I'm gonna tell all the youths to say, you know, try and stick it out because that's the real, what we call the real gangster in America. You know what I mean? You ever heard of them when they when them talk OGs and they talking gangsters? You see an OG, you know he's in a suit. He's a well-mannered person. He knows things. He has his position, his family. You know what I'm saying? Respectable person. You know what I'm saying? What they went through as a youth, they coming up. You know what I'm saying? But they proceeded. You know what I say? They went on. They, they persevered. You dig what I'm saying? That's what I see. You know what I'm saying? When they talk about, you know, badness. You know what I say? Yeah. So, so those levels. You know what I say? Okay. Just to get a more, um, a more, a more decisive answer, though. Yeah. What exactly kind of work is it that your father did? Is your father a carpenter? 
work on the boss. What's your mom do? She a tailor? What, what kind of work? Like, like I say, my mom, she worked hard. You know, she fought hard in America. I had to bigger my mother too. Remember, say, what's her mother's day with day. She's worked, she's such social work now. She worked hard. She went to school again in America. She's doing some social work. I'm so proud of you, man. Yeah, that. So proud of you. Yeah, that. I love you. And what about your father? My father, man, I love him and respect him so much. He's a good businessman, you know, he does his business. And fortunate for me, me and my father, we speak on the phone a lot, you know what I'm saying? I love him and I miss him, man, but we're not really in touch, but we're here, you know what I'm saying? Because father and son, I met him, love him, he respects me, I respect him. You know what I'm saying? So what school did you go to? I went to a few schools, man. I was all over the place, you know, I'm dealing with family, you know? That's the most important thing I know. Family, you know what I say? Um, started in Mark Messiah School in um, St. Anne when I left Tivoli. Shortly after Hurricane Gilbert, I left Tivoli. I think I started Mark of Messiah over there, and I was there for a few years till I went to America. Started uh, school on um, Cornell Avenue, no, Louis H. Latimer, PS 56, and I went on to couple other schools, man. I graduated though. I graduated school. Graduated school and I did a year of college in Tribeca. Twin Towers dropped. Ended up in all of the process. Boom, back home. <laughs> so, so while you was in America, in America you, t you tried to do something constructive? Yes, man. I tried to pick up a trade and everything. Like I say, it was a fight. But I'm telling you, I'm willing to put up the fight to stick it out to know, say, yo, you put something down. That's what it's about, man. Family worked hard to know, say, yo, you trying to do something with your life. You know what I'm saying? Fortunate for me, they put me up ICE, immigration, um, what's it called, customs enforcement. I believe it was them. They gave me some naturalization process that, you know, they didn't really too thoroughly investigate to know, say, yeah, I was a decent you trying to do his thing. I mean, if, I ain't going to tell you no lie, man. I mean, you there, you live in your neighborhood, you go through a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? I came out here, you know what I'm saying? I understand things. You know what I mean? I say I understand what's going on in school. I understand what's going on in the street. I'm not gonna say, yo, I'm the one to go pull up and kill somebody. You know what I say? But on the real shit, money is what we're talking about. Money is what we talk about when I'm interested in badness. You know what I say? Money. And it's like, it chooses you. You know what I mean? I say? And I believe that all of that happened for a reason. I'm supposed to be where I'm at. You know what I mean? I say, try to do that hustling. Try to get on my hustle, get on my grind that we say. You know what I say? When you yeah. was going to school, were you a good person? Were you troublesome or were you focused in school? Man, I remember high school, man. I remember high school, man. I used to, matter of fact, I started playing drums in school, right? And I used to always start, have a drum pad at my house. I used to practice making the rhythms, like, you know, go to class or had a private lesson. I used to like that, you know, I wanted to get into music and make rhythm. You know what I'm saying? I had a CD I wanted to show you with my cousin, Nikki. Shout out C.O. Still doing a thing for um, Cogs Music Entertainment, but um, we started playing some. I started playing rhythms for the school for the, for for some youths. We used to they used to rap in lunchtime. They used to rap in the cafeteria and all that. It was yo. I'll tell you, it was a beautiful experience, man. Without telling a lie, badness. You know what I said? The youths them just going and you, hey, teacher, come try to stop it. They gotta look sometimes like yo. That's that's art. That's that's I really like it. You know, it sounds good. You know, I remember the first rhyme I was up there spitting to them and they, they was interested. The teacher and everybody was like, yo, I, was, I can spit it for you? Uh, I'm going to ask you to spit it for me. Uh, yes. It was like, I hear it. it was like the beginning of the end. I'm making them chicks bend. These stars with that cat. What's that diggity dog name? Ren. I know the deal that was on the rail. I don't know if this could be my last meal. Because every night I'm hearing gunshots in these streets and Feeling my heart skipping around some beats and I wonder why it's so though I still got flow. Need to check that dust flow to get some more dope. Just from head to toe. Yo, that was my first rhyme sure. I ever wrote in school, right? And they were like listening to it. I was feeling that anxiety that they catch for it. But everybody's telling me it was cool. And you know, I started hanging around dudes and he was picking me up and getting girls and that that's how the whole thing started for me. Interest in that. When I started seeing that, it became a form of communication. You see me I say? And I'm seeing that right now. It's a communication that we on right now with the social media. Trying to get this intellect of what's really going on. Yeah, man, that and communication is getting bro it's a it's on broadband right now. Right? It used to be broadband, but it's broadspan right now. Yeah, I mean, it's being taught in the school, believe it or not. 
and the youth them go to school, they interact with it more, I would say more structured because they get in the balance. In the street, you get in it from the youth that's learning something. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? So it's like a balance there. It's like a formula. It works out. You know what I'm saying? Either way, it's just that gangster shit, that gully shit. That's what we talk about. That shit right there. That real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So tell me then. No. What was it like growing up in um in Tivoli Garden with, with, with incursions and stuff like that? Was you was you here when yes, the incursion man. happened? I was here for incursion. Wow. Tell me about the incursion. Um, man, what can I not say, man? Thank God I'm here. Um, bless the people that were not. You know what I mean? I mean that was a scary experience, man. I mean, one of the time I ended up in the crib, I had to run in there. You know what I'm saying? Because. Tonka let off of some shots and shots were getting shot at the doorway and the how the building caught on fire and all this. You dig? Dog, I'm in the, I'm, I come outside. They had the warning on the radio and the broadcasting for everybody to leave. I'm telling you, my family, we found this. When, when you say everybody to leave, leave, yeah, leave your house Tivoli, or leave yeah, Garden? It wasn't too clear. They're just saying, yo, everybody needs to leave Tivoli Garden. I'm wondering if it's like some hoax, because you know how new technology is. You can have dudes pressing buttons to do so operate some machine now. So I'm thinking something going on. I'm like, I'm listening to the I'm listening to my radio. So I'm going to my grandma crib. I'm like, yo, Jane, what's going on? You hear something on news about leaving? She said, yes my brother, we not me not left. I mean I said me not left neither I might got me not left. So I'm there and you know not paying no mind, try listening to music and cool. Boom. Boom 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 shot start lick and I beat everywhere. So I mean I say, you know say and I wonder if somebody, if people really are dying, soldiers are kill people out there or something. I'm still so. I said, man, I got old like my granny asked me. You see me? I say, because don't know. Them people that are elder, I talk about, I talk about bad word, that is bad man, jar T, and you know me I say, for them people that elder skip and you know me I say, I talk my family, you know me I say, for no them reason in them, I say, I can't leave this lady and. You know what I said? We need, we need her. You know what I said? Now I'm a little cousin them and everybody from the building. You know what I said? I have to go upstairs and sit to where the people them who are shoot off of me don't shoot the people them up there. So end up when the building catch a fire, me and a woman and our baby run outside. And now that saved me, you know. How come the building catch a fire? Man, I must say, I made them see, you know. I'm not a spark no lie. Because them say everything for dead, you know, for some reason. And we hear that message there as people in the game. Me I say, yo, that don't sound right. What kind of dead thing? And then I say, stay in your house, stay in your house. Me I say, what? Go around my granny, them shall run me back inside. Go in your house. Me I say, all right. But here what? Me tell you, say, the baby and our mother, and, and our mother saved me. His mother saved me. He's a little boy baby and his mother. Because me have to go there and say, say police, stop short. Our woman and our baby back here, you know, my friend. You see me, I say, them back here, you know, me I shout, you know. Them back, b b them b they back on me. Stop short. And I'm say, all right, then I shut out the building because I run inside. Come outside and I see somebody dead in there. So I mean I try to go around the mom and say, like a something pull up, like a vehicle pull up. You know what I say? I'm a look, I'm, I say, yo, that don't look like somebody, that don't feel good. Something just tell me for go back on the wall. And shot just lick up on me, brother. Lick me, I talk like a movie scene, I have to jump on the staircase and I See, when you look, it's be a small catch. I must say, my, one of my family having a bike, they have a park up. The bike catch a fire too, and it go to the two basement house, the two first floor house, and start burning. Me run upstairs and lock in my house. You understand? Because John know, man get away. Because many people are running around and gunshot are spoiled everywhere. Stay so. Go into the house and I start suffocating. So I start opening the window. That's how gunshots start leaking on the window. I said, John know. Your foot upstairs, I said, I couldn't them people up there. Run up there to them, yo. Them say, I say, yo, y'all come out. I go to them police, stop now. Because who I shoot off of me, I see them in a suit. I say, yo, John, no, hear what? Them say, yo, let me see them, let me see the people there. I'm going to come out of the building, you know, from a back. Just a little bucket of water and thing for just cool off anything in front of me. I'm going to come out. You know, so this is a building, them old way, you know. And no, say, we did it. Bad man or something, we did it all two, three days, you know. And I be a shot on the building still in the middle of the hour and winning our wine. 
But so, I'll be a shot at licking it. Sorry to cut you. You're talking about the building right behind us now? Yeah, man. You is, that the reason, it. is that the reason why there are so many gunshots in the, in the, in the woods? In that whole, in that building right there, so we did that. I'm telling you, say, wow, man. I was tied up. And, you know, we was there for a while. It's the girl that had to come give us some food before they took us to the arena or somewhere where they had a whole bunch of men up there, so. But it was me and a couple of men around there, so, man. I'm telling you, gunshots was beating, man. People in the street. Man, it was a terrible, disgusting scene, my dude. <laughs> you, but, yeah, you, you said a minute ago that you, you stood in front of the mother and her child and told the police or the soldier that, no, no, woman and child in there, you actually risk your life to save those people? I don't say I risked my life, but I would say, you know what I'm saying, thank God that we are alive, because I'm saying, though, if, if they shooting at me, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying don't shoot because somebody else is there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, basically, because they saying money and them is shooting out for money. I'm black money, you know what I'm saying? They have the Black Lives Matter going on right now, saying that, oh, yo, we're scared of black people and this stuff. Okay, that's fine, bro, but listen to me, man. All of some, we are people, everybody's person, everybody's has, you know, people and family, everybody's a person, you know, everything matters, especially black people, black men, you know what I'm saying? We love black women, you know what I'm saying? Me, me I go tell them, say, yo, don't shoot me if my woman did it. And for me and y'all are a different thing. You understand? You hear me I say, but I'm so good. Yeah, well, thank God for what happened. You hear that? Okay. Um, the legendary, it is said that the legendary could be on that is from Tivoli Gardens. Were yeah. you here when, when, those, when he was about? Man, I tell you about that, man. I'm, I saw the Don for the first time. Like, I actually heard the name Dodos. I never really knew the name. I left Tivoli knowing the name Jim Brown, knowing how to spell my name before I even knew anything. But me, I tell you, say, when I come back and get the welcome from Mikey himself, for no say, yo, yes, you come from, you know. I'm going to stay so in my heart. Bad man, you don't know them things that make you feel. It change your life, my friend. Because somewhere, somebody welcome you, you know, my friend. You go through so much fight, and you don't get through nowhere. You come out some place where people look upon this place, and I say, yo, man, you're you there, you know. Yo, every girl there, there you know. You know what I say? And you know, them come to this intelligent man, for no say, yo, the done, you know. <laughs> You know, say, yo, the man give you good advice and I run the place smooth. One of the best community, may I tell you that? Yes, man. <laughs> yes, man, me there when Mikey there, man. Yeah, please, be a party. Party the nice. You see me, I say, everybody nice, me I tell you, man. Nobody not to go on, nobody not to. You see me, I say? Yeah. You love it, man. You love the welcome when them give me to. Yeah, me I tell you? Yeah, respect, man. Growing up in Tivoli Gardens, is any of your family members part of any kind of gangster lifestyle or anything? No, yeah, you know what I'm You know what Yo, I'm have some uncle who start the thing, you know? One of my grandfather was one of the greatest, Martel Brandy. You see me, I say, him come in, him and him, Red Hat Bellimus, them they come from Rima, you know? When God the first opened at Tobacco Wall. You see me, I say, great. Bad with me, I tell you, George Elder Skip. George Tanya and the Great Elder Skip, you see what I say? Great Elder Skip? Yeah, man. Why are you I'm calling the Great Elder Skip? Who is he? Tell me about him. Man, that's a man where he can talk to, man. Everybody did read my uncle, me, I hear him, man. He's a good man. They're around this so with, um, with, um, with um, George, with um, Jim, Jim Brown, you know, on the bridge. You see what I say? I feel him bridging them. You see what I say? But I'm a granny brother. Remember, I say, Jim Brown and my granny did have a youth, you know? You see me, I say? So the whole of them grow together. You understand? So, you, you, sorry, sorry, sorry to cut you. Jim Brown and your granny had a youth. Would you explain that? Yeah, one of my aunties, you know, she passed away. So um, she had a child for um, for Jim Brown? Yes, man. Okay. Go on. Yeah, um, you know, um, yeah, it's often times, it's like, even when she passed away, I don't really know, you know what I'm saying? But there was even a talk about what happened to her. You know, it's like, that's crazy because that hurt my grandma's feelings, you know, to even know say, her Pitney passed away. How could even disrespect and say anything bad? She, you know what I mean, I say? Like, I heard she gave me my name as well, that do good. You know what I mean, I say? And I, I really appreciate that name because everybody knows in me and Tivoli and calls me that. I really appreciate that too, you know what I mean, I say? And um, yeah, I just want to big up the whole, the whole family. Yeah, because they're good people. What kind of friends do you keep? What kind of friends do you have in Tivoli Gardens? Man, my friend, everybody's a star, man. You did me, I say, everybody a star, man. You know what I say? You just want to know, say, you get your money together. You keep your links tight because 
anywhere you go, you're gonna need people that's bringing the party. You know what I mean? I say, and this part place is a is a is a is an exciting place, man. These people are full of life and love. You know what I mean? I say from just growing natural. You know what I'm saying? Having that little that little spice to add to. You no, know, say, yo, man, do the right thing. You know what I mean? I say, handle your business and maintain. Yo, there's no more high intelligence than meditation. You dig what I'm saying? Rasta City, Gangsta City is the same place. That's where we all come from. You know? Yeah, man, right here. So, man, thank God that I came, and thank God that I came back. <laughs> you hear that? So, so you've actually met Jim Brown and um, the Great Dodos? No, I haven't met um, Jim Brown. Jim Brown was probably, it was, I left Jamaica and Jim Brown was here. You see me? I said, I've seen Dodos and actually come shook his hand. Yes, man, Dodos, I bought him. You know what I mean, man? Welcome me when I come here, when I first come here. Remember, I say, you know what I say? I'm a father, them have a sister together. So they know each other well. I'm a father, call and say, yo, to go come home, you know, and come home and everybody welcome me, you know, my friend. And I have to thank them too. What I love them, Guinea. You understand? So you're distance family with them then? Yeah. Okay. Have you been in any war with anyone at all, like gunfight? Yeah, man, I got you all the while, man, but thank God with there, you know, man, test you every day, so we grow up big on body, you understand? You, them round, they're tough and them nice, though, cause, you know, say, you have bigger heads, bad man for no say, yo, real thing I go on you know, time for us, you know what I mean? I say, when little thing I go on, but yeah man, thing go on, yes man. Yeah man, I've been shot a couple of times my damn self, but thank God I'm okay, you know what I'm saying? How many times you been shot? <laughs> yeah, I've been shot twice. Twice? Yeah. And where were they? Where was I where shot? Where anybody were you shot? Oh man, I got shot one through the groin right here. I believe I got one in the leg one time. Close range, everything, man, should have died. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> they tried, you know what I'm saying? But God was there, man. Yeah, man. What country did you get shot in? Was it Jamaica or was it um, New York? Man, I got shot in, in, in Jamaica still. You know what I mean? I say, I guess, you know what I'm saying? But like I tell you, man, did thank you, God. Did you go to hospital for that or did you treat it yourself or did you have someone treat it? Um, what happened again? Yo, you know what I'm saying? Me there with dog. Me there. My dog come to hospital for me one night time. You know, you know what I'm saying? Because me there after, like, walk. Over yes sir, you know what I said? Me there, one of the time me I come in right at the station house there, sir. And me just get shot. I mean, I want them, sir, the blood clot. Drop down. I roll, me roll over there, sir. I know, say, yo, me get shot, you know. They must say, oh, me say, I never know, you know, somebody had them face mask up on this and that, you know. Because I really, somebody had them face mask up and shot me, you know what I said? I say, well, John, no. Everybody say, like, them, them know who, but like, the man a dead out again, you know what I said? I don't know if I run them running or him go away. I want what, but them thing they reach to reach me, yes. You know what I say? You know, say yeah, you're on top of it now for for learn. You see what I say? Because badness is a thing, you know. At the grave you gotta see, you know. So how slow or how fast you want your business, you know. Is that me I say? <laughs> so the the, the 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 gunshots, okay, did you take them out yourself with tweezers or did you have did you go to the hospital? That's what I was basically asking. Alright. Well, yeah, I had to go up there, they actually Pulled me, drove me up into the public there, you know, when I rolled over here from the road. Police picked me up one time and rolled me to the hospital. But, you know what I'm saying, they had to let me go because it was like, you know, the, the, the doctors helped me, the nurses at public helped me and that, you know, they, I came home. I went up there, like I say, and they helped me. Didn't you didn't have to answer any questions of like, who, um, who did yeah, you get shot by? And... Yeah, you know, you try and be as present as you can be. You're not going to tell them a lot, but that's basically what happened, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. You ever been in trouble with the police in Jamaica? Yeah, man. Actually, did a stint a little while, a little. They had a. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I had a little panty case one day. And you know, say thank God, I had a chance to even talk right now because, yo, I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> Me, real man of money. You see, man, say as young as I be, I made a lot of mistakes in my life. But being a, being a rule boy, you have to know things, you know, as a big brother, I mean, a big brother. All them things that what them say, man, do, I never do it. I never saw nobody in the way. And it detect that for help that case, you know. Because come like say, the youth will get hurt. Use my name for help ourselves, you know. Say, yo, them force me for life on you, you know. When me coming out the scene, you know, everything get, you know, broken silence, like say, yo, it help the youth now. So I saw me stay right and I look on it. You understand? So what was the charge? What was the charge? Um, some assault the case they gave me, man. Some, assault? Yeah, man. Some, you know. Did you get locked up for that? Yeah, I was there for about two years, matter of fact. And they actually threw, threw me away. They threw me away. But yeah. the story came out after they threw me away. So nobody really knows, say, yo, 
he's a good guy. I still get the little tension off of it, but I'm telling you, surviving that, surviving that case in jailhouse is not easy. You know, I had the powers of God with me, I'm gonna tell you overall. And just being from where I am, I think that helped me as well. To know, say, yo, you come from foundation family, you know me. I tell you, all them big name of me I give are some, are some good people and you know, will help people. So people would ever stick off you for no say, yo, bad man help you, you know. When I talk good man, you know. When they say bad man, you know. You see me, I say, them you, they look off you, intelligent people, you know. You say, we have them money. You see me, I say. So your family check for them, we are check for you and know, say, yo, this man are tough him, rough him, right? Set him free. And see me, yeah. <laughs> you hear that? So what age did you leave Jamaica? Like I said, I left about six years old, seven years old. Yeah, Jimmy, when you yeah I started about third grade in America. When I tell you the experience there, when I started school, was was a blessing. Coming from Jamaica, as a child, you know, say you have a great time in school, right? Parents, you know, say when they send the kids to school, it's like they they they, they feel protected when the child leaves. Right now, I'm presently working on that. That's why I didn't really rush into parenthood. I made a couple of mistakes in America. Well, I tell you about my. I had a couple of children up there. Right now, I want to be the family man, you know what I'm saying? Build around my family with that love that I got. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm still here after all of that. Gunshots, knife fight, my shit, all of that. You dig what I'm saying? Jailhouse, boy. My family, I fight for me. <laughs> love that. You hear me, I tell her? I want to tell her that. <laughs> so, is your family that from, from America that fought for you, or was it people in Jamaica that sent you to? Oh, man, it was my, one of my great grandmothers was up there, man. She was a chef. You done knowing she, she brought her whole family up. And I guess I was with it because my mom's went up there with her. You didn't mean I say? Yeah, man, but you done know it going on. My father, my mother, they my people with make money. So, you see me, I say, and long before, you know, say, they have them own a youth and the family get bigger and broader. There. So I just mean enough, you know, say, me, I bring the family together as the eldest son where they must stick by, you know me, I say? Were you happy to see your family when you when you go to America? Were you happy to see man, them? Man, I was ecstatic to see them, man. Yeah, man, I tell you. And every time I see them, I'm I'm I'm, I'm glad. Sometimes, you know, I'm here with some of my cousins and me and we war. But at the end of the day, we we happy for each other. Cause we ever here, we run boat, go to parties. You know, man, I say share Joe. Sometimes we have to, you know, protect each other too. You see, man, I say that's what I see going on too. We have to, cause we have to protect each other. Cause everybody's not influenced like. Some of us, we in, we're blessed to be in a great community, to know things, you know what I mean, I say? Some youths come here to learn things from us. And fortunately, for right now, they don't feel safe to come through. And they ever, that's, that, that suspects makes things happen. And that's what's really going on right now. Everybody needs that calming again. You know what I mean, I say? I'm sorry for what's going on now in the COVID and everything, but that's what's really necessary. Everybody has to get a little calming back because y'all know, man, people are real. You know what I'm saying? People feel things, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm saying like what, what you're going through right now with trying to help the youth them see, have an insight right now. I feel you, you know what I'm saying? Which I'm trying to give you an inspirational word through all of the dark clouds that you hear what's going on even around my name, even around Tivoli, you know what I'm saying? Because me, I get a lot of names, you know what I'm saying? Do Good is my name. They call me Johnny Jagon, like my father, Big Gun Johnny Jagon. That's all right, you know what I'm saying? Those are just names. So what's your, what was your father's name? My Johnny, Johnny, my father, and they call him. You know what I'm saying? Girls call him Big Gun Johnny J Gun. You know how that go, though. <laughs> but it's like that player, well, it up. <laughs> okay, growing up in Jamaica every day is very much hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. So landing in New York with a change of climate, how, how did that affect you? How did you adjust to the new climate? No, I tell you, so sometimes, sometimes, you know, it gets to you, but I mean, it's the best part of life, man. I'd rather fight that than all that other stuff going on in New York. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm going to tell you, growing up in the ghetto, you, you're, you're, you're really biblical. You know what I'm saying? So what's going on now, there's a factor. And I feel people need to encourage that more, get more biblical. People are more serious them time. You know what I'm saying? To handle things of even this capacity was COVID, what's going on with COVID. You know what I'm saying? Faith, faith moves a lot of mountains, and I feel we need to get to that. You know what I'm saying? When you land off the when you land off the plane, was you um when you when you left Jamaica and land off the plane, was you in t-shirt? Was you, did you? Oh leave? man, me that one white name there. 
them time in, them in a style, you know, the over, what do you name the overall? The overall. The little short overall, them. Yeah, okay, man, so, not, not, no, no shirt on, you know. <laughs> so, when you, okay, so, so when you land off the plane and feel that like chill, <laughs> feel a like different kind of weather, how did that feel? Bad man, I tell you, I say, a three days straight, I tell you, I ball, you know. I remember when I reached there, you know. three days straight, reached for a ball, for a big man thing. That cold alone, <laughs> it make you feel, it, it got to your head. I mean, I know say, some of them youth there with their foreign. Because I got through some things because of them condition. You know what I mean? I say, whether Jamaica and a beautiful sunshine, you get a good meditation like me, I tell her. You see me I say, which is why I, mean, I tell her, say, the fact that we are play in a music and communication is great. You know what I mean? I say, yeah man, it has to be solid, like me, I tell her. That biblical sense is real. You know what I mean? I say, because we're communicating, you know, saying dynamically now. You know what I mean? I say, we get to get that formula exact. You know what I say? Too much black profanity and all that negative is influencing things to people to do ignorance. You know what I say? Badness is badness, you know what I say? But ignorance is ignorance, my friend. You know what I say? You know what I say? Yo, we lick our brains. I try to chop up our money and stuff. Yeah, car and this and that. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> At the beginning of the interview, you mentioned the fact that you did music when you was in America. Is this how you made a living? How did you survive when you was in America? Man, I used to hustle, man. I used to hustle, man. Well, that was one of my hustles me and my cousin was trying to get on to. You know what I mean? I said, like, my cousin welcomed me to his crew. We was up there, you know, Carnegie, Carnegie Nice, we used to call it. And then ended up into um, Cog's music. That's like back when Jay-Z and Rockefeller was up. You know what I'm we was young bloods. You know what I'm saying? I was heavily Christian in hip hop. But I'm, you know, showing my roots in reggae. This is back a wall still in the right side of Trench Town, you know what I mean? I say you have to know things to see connections and links and make yourself more place in what's going on. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, we used to have that hustle going on where we started. I was in school at the time, but I was in school doing it. And my cousin was out of school, you know what I'm saying? I had to do sell my little nicks. You know what I'm saying? I roll with them little crip nick. I roll my locs up there, you dig what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I say I go, I work in my shop. You know what I mean? I say, and, you know, say I get my little money, you know, say I have my studio money, and we go make some records. But at the time, I'm helping with beats, I'm helping with music, and they'll say, yo, I write a verse too, or whatever, you know what I mean? I say, but that's as far as it went still, but now I'm telling a lie. So the, mu the music was your hustling? Mm, more the restaurant still made the money for me. You know what I mean? I say, like I tell you, I was in America. I was like, what you would call, I had to stay underground. You understand what I'm saying by that? Yeah, I understand. You had to keep underground. You know what I'm saying? My cousin. Stay low key. You understand? So I was trying to make sure my cousin was promoted as a star so we could get this paper. Because we it's two moms working together to do this thing. We could do it. But yeah, a lot of complications dealing with my factor. You know what I mean? I say? And it never really worked out, but we're still trying. You know what I mean? I say? We still try. I still try to make some beats at time and still try to write. My hustle really was trying to get into school. You know what I mean? I say I was trying to get my trade on and they say, yo, I could get good on the engineering tip. All sides of engineering. This musical engineering was a side as well. You dig what I'm saying? Because Beats is making money right now. A lot I'm telling you, Beats is making money right now. Yeah. So, so when you got arrested in, in America, what did you get arrested for? Um, well, they sent me back on an immigration charge. I believe all that caught up back to me with all them selling little weed and all this, you know what I'm saying? They pick you up for that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I believe it all caught up to me at the end because they actually start watching you follow. They have to, you have to start following me and watch me to catch up with me like that. I know I move a, a good way. Were you, were you, know you arrested I mean? on numerous occasions or just once? Yeah, not once, maybe a couple, maybe about five, six, six, seven times or whatever. I did end up doing pro, what is it? Um. What is it called? Parole? Community service. Community service, okay. Yeah, for a charge where they had to help my phone and my money for something. We were working, let me say, I work with some, I work with some crip niggas up there. So I don't know if they felt the way, you know what I'm saying? We controlling the place or whatever, but it's like I'm selling food, you know what I'm saying? And that's all that we're, that's what we're dealing with. Money just ran up on me and just put me on a charge of resisting arrest. And that just cascaded everything because, you know, I was trying to get out of the road and stop selling weed out on the street, you know what I'm saying? And get back into something, come out the underground with a little cash on me now to go into some tradesman certification, you know what I mean? I say, trying to stack like that hustle show you. Stack, stack, stack. But all that ended up right back at square one to just even bigger, even a bigger picture that I see in this badness. Man can get a bigger link now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo. <laughs> you, okay, you've been, to, you've been locked up in Jamaica and now New York. How did they accept you as a yardie 
and not a new, and not an, an American prisoner? How did they accept you? How did you manage to maintain See, that and survive? Right there, that right there, I'm telling you, like they, they say in Tivoli, they got the president, him so intelligent. You see me? I said they have a song about that intelligence, man. I had to thank, I, mean, I had to thank the powers of my friends, my family that was around me when I grew. They showed me wisdom. You dig what I'm saying? I learned because I paid attention. You know what I'm saying? Coming home, it was a hard adjustment, but you became acclimated. You know what I'm saying? You learn how to be smart. You understand? You're not just you learning something. You learn how to be smart. You use it, put it together, talk to people. Well, you know me, I say, you know, I just hear a word, I know, I say, yeah, my way, I say, you're dead here, and you elaborate on it. You know me, I say, you get in detail. That's how I get to see down here. A lot of reasoning is going on. You know what I mean? And you have to be a part of it. Don't act like you out of it. That's, that's the way you do it, communication. You know what I mean, I say, yeah, I'm going to embrace a lot of barriers, man. Did you get in any kind of war with any prisoners? I say, I'm a lip boss up and thing. Yeah, man, get in a war, yes, man. Man, we beat and kill you, you know. <laughs> she don't know. But John, no, man, I tell you how the fate, man, and the powers. You know what well, they, 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 they rush you, or was this like a one on one fight you had with prisoners? Man, you had to defend yourself at all times. Yo, you're not sleeping, you know. <laughs> you're not sleeping, you know. You have to defend yourself, man. You have to give it up to the youth, them, them, them rough and tough, my friend. Better you know what you do. You understand me? I have to know that. That one of me here, don't you? No, we all do. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. <laughs> a, a lot of prisoners tend to tend to have like knives and stuff like that to defend themselves. Did you carry anything like that to defend yourself? Man, first and foremost, man, like I said, I didn't really come from here, so you're not gonna get privileges on nothing. You gotta earn everything. So I had to sit there butt ass and just know say, yo, based off my intelligence, how you treat people, how you deal with people, you get on. Sit a little more, I had my little friends come help me out, yo, D hold a soap. Yo, D, eat some food, you know what I'm saying? Because, yo, in my case, yo, you ain't getting shit. You ain't got nobody, you ain't getting shit in there. Water, nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I went through them separations at times, you know what I'm saying? Yo, you ain't eating, you ain't drinking shit, you ain't bathing, nothing, you know what I'm saying? You have to be there really tough, like, yo, real, this is real, you know what I'm saying? This is real, you know what I'm saying? Not guilty. <laughs> Describe the difference between um, Jamaican prison and New York prison to me. Wow, well, you get beds. <laughs> I think they get their three squares up there and all this. I mean, you get something to do, you know what I'm saying? They actually try and help you improve yourself. Down here, the system is fucked up a way where you're not getting help doing shit. You just being there to know how to construct yourself and be mastering whatever the hell you was doing before you came in there. That seems kind of fucked up, you know what I'm saying? Because the school system is like the jail system, whereas one is pushing you to the other. If you're not excelling, if you're not the top choice, you ain't gonna make it nowhere. They're trying to say they shouldn't be so. You feel groom the use from their young men, embrace all of them and grow them well. You know what I'm saying? Break them communication barriers, build them up. Because these youths are bright, man, and they want to be a part of things. You know what I mean? I say, I be in jail out, I see them, man. I used to remember the time I used to, I used to sit there, I used to pray a lot. You know what I'm saying? One of, one of my homeboys, Chatty, we used to sit there and pray. You know what I'm saying? I tell you, pray one time, they had to move to the next jail house. Because we did that prayer, prayer, prayer in other place. And I said, yo, what's your charge, dude? You know what I'm saying? I tell you, you know? Jail also have a lockdown and carry right that's so then I'm done for the next 18, the, the next nine months. Nine months up, yes, and nine months down, yes, so two years from that. I ain't still so. I'm dead, I say, so all that jail also locked down. You see me, I say, I'm dead, I say, when I meditate, I say, yo, John, you know, say, holy for prayer, what are you doing there? I need you them sit down Sunday and I read the Bible. I mean, them call for read the Bible for them, you know. Because I tell you the powers down here. Yo, they can't read. Read, yo, they read well. I'm still so. Eh? You never mind read for them. <laughs> You see me, I say, all ah, them things, if you come in a plate, you see me, I say, like I say, my lad, no COVID are going on the road now, fix, we can't get fixed now. Them way they with a pre, you know, as intelligent people. You see me, I say, that a real badness. You know, I say, yo, blood clot, them a bad man, watch how the road fix when they come out. You know them way they? Yeah, man, that's how we deal, bad man. <laughs> all right. You're, you're born in Tivoli. Tivoli Gardens is a bad area. You went to New York. New York is also a bad area because it's a, yeah, it's a country that's licensed firearm. Yeah. Area, okay. They, they Everyone, license firearms in that? You're allowed to have, am I right in saying that you're allowed to have licensed firearms in America? Something like that. I heard something like that, too. I want, yeah, I've been reading up on the internet a lot, but you know what I'm telling you, say, I have a lot more reading to do. I never really heard that they really passed that legislation. You dig what I'm saying, God? I'll be there looking at them and I say, eh. Really? 
never know. So wasn't that legis legis legislation about when you was in America? Yeah, they had it, but not in, like, I think it was in New York State. The city? Nah, sir, not in the city like that. You have to leave the city if you wanted something like that. I mean, we know. Check it out. Come on. <laughs> All right. You've been to, like I said, Describe now, um, you've been to Jamaica, you've been to New York, yeah. prison and road in both countries. Yeah. Describe the badness in Jamaica to the badness in America. The badness in Jamaica, the badness in America. Why? May I tell you, intelligence, once again. You can bad in a city and come a bush and dead. Can they a bush and be the baddest thing and reach a foreign? Miserable. <laughs> Cause you don't have nothing to do. You understand? People love them ways. People get into them ways sometimes. I know, so I just them for that. You understand? Psyche. But, may I tell you this? Which one me that say? Rough and tougher. I couldn't give you one. Couldn't give you one. It's more, it's, it's, it's all a psycho psychological thing to me. You see me, I say, cause you have youth where can't fight, you know, and youth that can't fight, you know. Some youth where can't fight, they love going and them can't take it. You have some youth where, you know, say, yo, them look, and you know, say, yo, them, they my daily business, you know. You better shoot out and ray, ray, ray. Yeah, man, you know them things they go on, though. Yeah. So I'm not going pinpoint for you know, say, which one are which, because you have everybody a mix and match, you know. People are do it now, our communication are do it, everybody can do it now. I just all oh, want to do it. You understand me, I say? Yeah. Tell me now, yeah, you see, the girls them, the girls them in America, <laughs> the girls them in America and in England are two different, two yeah. different ethnics. Yeah. How did you get on with the girls them in America? Uh, that was one of the, one of the most beautiful things you asked me, man. One of the most beautiful experiences I had, man, or the most beautiful experience I ever had, man, it has to be with the female, right? Man, I'm going to tell you one thing, man. I was in New York, Brooklyn, New York, and Strong Island, New York. Wow, man. You see, the, the music, it puts you in another world, too, man. You dig what I'm saying? I'm so stuck on some of them girls, I can't really open up to Jamaican girls how I want to. And they say they love all my talk on this. And it's like, you want to bring in me your heart, but it's like, yo, John, know that communication breaks you off away, you know what I'm saying? But it's going to work out, because I'm a good dude, you know what I'm saying? I must get a good queen. But everybody that treated me well, all them ladies that treated me well, thank you so much. And two ladies that say they had a baby for me, I'm still here trying to rock, rock hard and get to you one day, man. Big up in peace and love. You hear that? When, when you left the prison yeah. in New York, did you go back on road or was you sent straight back to Jamaica? Sent straight back to Jamaica. It was like, you know, it was, it was, like, it was more, more of a charge. I'm telling you, I was going to school at the time. They sent me some immigration charges, but you know what I'm saying? I was juggling in the road, so I had it mixed up. Like, say, they had me on the charges from road. Why they put me up on immigration charges? You see me, I say? So I'm not really too, too, too sure as to which, which way to put the finger on. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not really too certain. When they notified you, when you got your first letter, right, that you were going to be deported, how did you feel? All right, I was like, all right, it took four years for them to find me because I didn't turn myself in. I didn't turn myself in. I didn't really want to come back to Jamaica, like I tell you. I didn't really know anybody here. I, didn't, I grew up in America, you understand? So coming back here was like out of this world. Like I tell you now, I can't even use none of the schoolwork I, I gained. I are top diplomas, you know what I'm saying? And I can't really use anything in Jamaica like they say because it's not college certified or it's not, you know? So I feel kind of left out, but I'm still trying to work hard to get back into it because there's some way somehow for me because, you know, I have it up here. It's just you want to get now with the moving and the hustling right, you know what I'm saying? You See, I'm in a good place because I grew true with my family now. You got to be in the, some of the best positions. So I grew well, you know what I'm saying? Academically, I'm in some of the best schools. I'm, I'm playing ball, you know what I'm saying? I'm around some rich people and this. So, you know, I got to tell you, say, them rich, so, but me, I tell you, say, them well out, them all them O's and them car, you know what I'm saying? So, me, that I grew up, I got, I got a great experience in life. Just want to know, I share that, you know what I'm saying, with God as I'm here. Because, you know what I'm saying? They provided me with that while I'm under the sun. I want to give back as well. You know what I'm saying? Being on the road, no, say, oh, y'all bleach with a tile up on this and that. Yeah. But you really want to be about something in life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what we're talking about right now. That's that badness. Quickly, you just said bleach with a tall up. Yeah. Explain that for viewers, please. What do you mean by bleach with a tall up? 
you know, man, dead it, you know what I say? You have, to, you have to try to look out, because you don't know what people up to at times, you know what I say? So you have bleach with the tall up, tall up, my friend, you know what I say? So I come on. Tell me about the tall up, tall up. Now, what do you call the tall up, tall up? Man, I don't really know too much about the tall up, tall up, I tell you, you know. Yeah, you have two hands to hold him now, you know what I say? Yeah, that's a lot, see, I, you know, say, yeah. You protecting what's yours. You protecting around you, you protecting yours. That's what I could tell you about it, man. You know what I'm saying? When, when your family knew and yourself knew that you were going to be sent back to Jamaica, did they support you for it? Tell you the truth, man. Me up on the road so long, they never really knew, you know. Come to tell them, my daddy, I come like one at a time, like my grandmother did pass, you know, me and Andrea live, so. They're up on the road for a few years, you know, to them just I send them letter to them house, because remember I'm registered for school, so they have to send them letter. So I saw immigration catch up with me, they must send letter to my family. And me I go look for my family now, when I come off of the road, because I used to just jump grey on, you know, sell things and come back. Go back to Broadway, me and the African youth. Get more supply, go back to the road, you know what I say? I say, yo, along the way, I come back and go to work in a restaurant or get some construction work or something, pick up a little hustling. That's how you have to do it, man. But um, yeah, man, them support me, man. Them, them did it for me all through the way, my friend. All through the way, my friend. All of me there road, me can link up with them and know, say, yo, man, take a shower and eat some food, change my clothes, everything. So, man, love my family to death, man. All right. See what I say? So you, so you left Jamaica when you were six and you came back when you were 22? Yes, sir. Okay? Had a big 23-year-old party, me down here too. Man. Okay. Sure, a big party for me. <laughs> who, who did your family or your friend? Yeah, my father, man. My okay. father, man, I tell him, man, Johnny, sure, a big party for me, man. So right. that's enough with I say, my bad man. Johnny is a cold brother, man. I'm intelligent, man. Smart, you know? And no say, yeah. Son of you. You see me, I say, man, I help you. You know, man? So now you leave, like I was saying, you leave Jamaica when you're six, come back yeah. when you're 22, mm. and now you're being deported and back in Jamaica now, off the plane, sitting down at home. What's your thoughts? Man, my thoughts is trying to make positive occur, you know what I'm saying? Because I've, I've been a part of alleviation my whole life, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like me being in a position to see, you know what I'm saying, what I've seen, gives me a, a good perspective on things, you know what I'm saying? I like to know, say, yo, I get into real world mainstream back again and help, you know what I'm saying, where I'm at, you know what I'm saying, on that business side, on that, on that, on that solid certified side, you dig what I'm saying? Because guess what? You have a next side, you know, where I got taken you know, up and closer and closer you see sometimes you feel like, say, yo, you got ton money, I got do things, you see me I say? You don't want to take the wrong road. You dig what I'm saying? Because don't got tone things can't reach you. You see me? I say you just have to know what you do. Real talk. So when you, when you when you came back now from from America, yeah. okay, after spending so long over this what over 16 years in America. Yeah, man. How did your family accept you when you came back? Why well, it's coming like I know you feel like that youth. You know me? I say where them 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 know like I'm a. I get the name Dugo, I tell her. And who know that name, there are people who are bigger than me, you see me I say? And who know me, that's how I grow with me. When them call you, it's a sincere thing. If they don't talk to you, something not going. on. see me I say, you can talk to them and them not talk to you, it's no something wrong. If them hear you back, all right, and you just not hear them. You see me I say, you have to communicate and correspond to find out, you know me I say? Yeah, man, so you get to know where them are dealing with and where you are dealing with too. Because if you are dealing with positive things, can happen for you, man. See me, I say, you are dealing with negative things, can't reach you. There's no way I do. <laughs> you've, obviously you've obviously developed and learned a new different kind of principle and attitude while you're in New York. Yes. So coming to Jamaica as a deportee, how did they accept you with that accent, people in general? Mm, I should have called it the deportee word and you get upset, you know? Because I tell you, say, at school, I go still and end up come back a yard, you know. So, you know, you, it's you now just being an intelligent person for no say, yo, my name, Daniel Bo, my name, you know. So, if you don't talk to me, if you don't call me that, you know what I say? Head up on the next page, you know, when you do that, head up on it. You have to talk, oh, you get it, you understand? So we know the thing, you're intelligent that I give out the money, you know, you know, disrespect him. You, know? you see what I say? Head up on the next page, you know, they come on, boo. No, say, yo, I'm deaf on it, you know. Yeah, man. 
they find it more, you have to communicate. Real talk. So are, are you comfortable with the way you're speaking or are you trying to go back to speaking patois? Well, may I tell you something, I love how me talk, you know, I'm not telling a lie. feel comfortable. You see me, I say a lot more relaxed. Uh, sometimes you have a little English for talk, you got a little word for describe what you exactly want to say. Uh, sometimes you just want to say what you have to, you feel for talk. You see me, I say the real, right in front of you, so the pattern come in. But like when they blend together when me speak, enough people talk so too. You see me, I say. And, Fortunately, I'm there at me there's a real place where I can have that good talk in the inner me. Because I go to that town, you know. Everybody there at town, you know. Yeah, man. I remember I was in the streets, I try to get it, man. Yeah, man. Big everybody where I sell the hot dollar on them. You know what I'm saying? What would you say you achieved when you was in New York? All right, man. I can't, I can't stress that word experience enough, man. The culture. I experienced that culture so deeply, man, you couldn't even understand. When they said Summer Jam in 95, I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? When they said 9-11, um, I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? When they say Bob Marley, I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? When they said Cool Herc, I was a kid. You know, they say Jim Brown, I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? When they say Bill Clinton, I was a kid. Barack Obama, you know what I'm saying? We were kids, now we men. And we see all of this emerge from our little culture. This, you know what I'm saying? This realness, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what are you doing now that you're back in Jamaica? What kind of work are you doing? Are you going to school? Are you studying? Man, what are you doing? A lot of hard work, man. A lot of hard work you have to do, man. They don't no say you can't do work, too. Not how me feeling you know, naturally. You know, say, yo, you never there a foreign and I don't need that. You understand things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I try to put in my best, you know, so I get back in something, get back out. You dig it? And it's like that. Mm -hmm. I noticed you show a little bit of muscle there. Yeah. Okay. It is said that um that it is okay, there's a stigma that after ten years, eight to ten years, deportees go mad. Mm -hmm. Okay? Is the majority of deportees go mad after eight to ten years. <laughs> okay? How have you managed to stay sane and Man, I tell you, man, I embrace that shit, man. They tell you about madness, it's like, yeah, mud, 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 mud. <laughs> Whatever it up. Embrace it, man, and let it be natural, yo. Where the mug, I'll be, let it be, man. If get muddy, get mud. If get muddy, get butt. You see, man, I say you just try and do the best you can do. That's what I say. <laughs> Rub it up. <laughs> hey. <laughs> how much, do you, what do you think the government, how much do you think the government are doing to help the people, the porties? The porties? Man, see, that's the, that's the minority factor right there that's being played in the world right now. You know what I'm saying? When they say the porties, this is a citizen that's trying to help. This is a citizen that's a part of What's, 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 what's relevant, you know what I'm saying? If, if, if it's just somebody coming to cause trouble, yeah, they're going to style you and tell you about a whole bunch of names. But you're a real person, they're going to call you, Dougal, Dougal. You know what I'm saying? They're going to call you, because that's you. Yeah, man, I know Dougal, remember I sell him food, I try to go to school, you know, man, I you that. Yeah, man, they're not things, you know, them saying, man, no good, you know, but no, man, I'm not rich, and da-da-da. Yeah, man. What, what, do you, what would you like to have come back to Jamaica and see the government doing to have help the parties such as yourself? What, what kind of um, strategy or structure would you like to have been in place to help you to come straight back into after being deported? Mm. Strategies, well, it's an ever, uh, 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 it's ever a problem with employment, you know what I mean? I say, most men would come and, you know what I mean? I say, they don't understand how the money go. And as she said, the money, shell out a way, don't you? The peer, now nah, I tell you, say, man, I work for no good money still, right, I know. But you, you understand what comes with work. You have to be certified, qualified. Some youths don't come with training, they don't really get the money. I can't blame society, but I can say they can help, you know what I'm saying, going back to the schools and getting with these youths from their little to understand what makes them more comfortable in life. You know what I say? And then build on from education that goes to the jailhouse to see, yo, what went wrong from day so. And then you're going to find the poor tees, you know what I'm saying, that's in trouble to know, say, yo, B. What's really going on? You know what I'm saying? How can you get fixed up? You know what I'm saying? Because that murder rate is crazy right now. You heard me? Yeah, man. Looking back now after being through so much, do you have any regrets? Man, I regret not letting my, my, my squad, I used to play soccer. I regret, regret, regret not going back to goalie like they didn't want me to. I wanted to go, but I was gonna let them know at the right time. I regret that, you know what I'm saying? And 
you know what I'm saying? I regret, like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really come out as cakey as I wanted to be coming from America. But that's all in place, man, due time, because I'm still going on, you heard? There's a lot of youths right now who are watching this, yeah, and they're in the same position as you. I've been deported and been in media, sorry, let me start again. Being born in Jamaica, went to abroad, yes, and being deported. Yes, what would be your advice to them right now? Yeah, man, yo, the curriculum is a factor, man. You see that Bible? This is what you're getting taught to be about. You dig what I'm saying? If you can't really see that, then you're not really doing the right thing. Check it out and check the facts, man. Absolute reasoning is there for a purpose. You know what I'm saying? Get ahead in life and get a good head on your shoulders, man. You're going anywhere. That's what I'm telling them right there.